China is a cultural capital. Both tangible and intangible, life and art culture are all conserved here. Art is not only shown in one field. We have Museum of Taiwan Literature, Museum of Taiwan History, and the Qimei Museum housing valuable collections. Also, we have Museum of Meteorology and the Museum of Art under construction. Each museum with different attributes satisfy different demands for knowledge. Visit them with us now. The building of National Museum of Taiwan Literature, built by Japanese modeled red brick one during the British Victorian era, it adopted European stone building style. It was the design of Japanese architect Matsunosuke Moriyama. The whole building combines European and Japanese elegant style. After entering the museum, one at a long corridor can feel the connection with time tunnel of literature. The museum introduces Taiwan literature by dividing into different periods. If you would like to know more about Taiwan literature, you need to come here to explore Taiwan literature works of different periods. In addition to archiving, conservation, and researches, Exhibitions from time to time are organized for the public to get closer to Taiwan literature and to promote cultural development. This is the director of National Museum of Taiwan Literature, Director Chen. Chen Guan Zhang, hello. Hello. So, Director Chen, uh, could you give us an introduction about the National Museum of Taiwan Literature? Taiwan Museum 距今十二年，在十二年的发展过程中，我们得到了台湾各文学家以及家属的捐赠文物，高达十五万件之多。这么多珍藏的文物，其实就是我们国立台湾文学馆成立的目的。我们要珍藏，我们要研究，要展示教育台湾文学。利用的空间就在这一栋建筑物里面，而这个建筑物已经一百年。一百年前由日本设计师建造。曾经作为台南州州厅，后来也作为台南市市政府，现在是我们国立台湾文学馆，全台湾唯一一个国家级文学博物馆的用地。The purpose of the museum is to archive, display, and educate Taiwan literature. They have exceptional archive rooms, excellent exhibition space, regular exhibitions, and thematic exhibitions. Additionally, they set up a reading room for children literature and also care about offshore islands. For example, they have special exhibitions on Matsu, Kimmen, and Penhu. They continuously use all opportunities to bring Taiwan literature to each corner. Culture needs to be preserved. Languages need to hand it down. Literature works present the essence of language culture. Thinking, life, and emotions of people in each era are recorded in literature work for us to see the trace of time better. Established in 1992 by entrepreneur Mr. Xu Wenlong, Qimei Museum is one of the most well-known private museums. The founder, Mr. Xu, was inspired by cultural and art contents of museum. Always would like to build a museum for the public to develop public art and cultural literacy, as well as to provide people the mental shelter. This is the deputy director of Chime Museum, Patricia Liao. Very nice to see you. Nice to see you. 大家好，我是奇美博物馆的副馆长廖婉如。And uh, deputy director, I wanted to ask you the very first question is,、uh, what is the planning and designing of this museum? 奇美博物馆呢是坐落在台南都会公园。这个都会公园本身有四十公顷，博物馆所在的馆区的部分大概有十公顷左右。奇美博物馆呢是以典藏西方的艺术作品，所以这栋建筑物本身也是采取西方设计风格。但是设计的建筑师呢，其实是我们台南在地的建筑师蔡一章建筑师。整个园区的规划，包括景点的部分，比较采用希腊罗马时期的一些名称啦，像说我们有阿波罗喷泉，有缪斯广场，这些地点呢，有很多都是民众非常喜欢进来打卡的地方。那整个博物馆呢，当大家进来的时候，就会发现一
进了博物馆，右手边是我们特展的部分，我们会不定时的有各种不同的特展的展出。在博物馆的左边有我们的卖店跟咖啡厅，还有我们的音乐厅。那进了匝道口之后，在右手边是我们的自然区哦，就是动物区的部分。左边的部分是冰淇厅。博物馆最大典藏区是我们的雕塑大道啊，沿着这个雕塑大道一直往后面走，就是我们的罗丹厅。看完罗丹厅之后，还可以上楼去。在左手边有我们的乐器，乐器厅呢也有古典的民族乐器的收藏，还有一个走入馆弦乐团。那在右手边呢，有分成四个展厅。Chime Museum has many collections because of personal interest of the founder, Mr. Shi Wenlong. Mr. Shi is very much into fishing, nature, clay sculpture, and painting. He plays violin and is a lover of music instrument. Thus, there is a workshop display of violin manufacturing. Collections are in many varieties, and it is worth to pay a visit. And the very last question is, oh, what is the philosophy? What is the region of this museum? 创办人呢，因为他自己小时候家境其实非常的贫苦，可是在他家附近有一座博物馆，呃，是免费可以进去的。那是在日治时代战乱的时候，他觉得那里提供他非常好的一个慰藉。所以他一直希望说自己长大的时候也可以为社会提供一个这样子的博物馆，让大家都可以进来参观。清美博物馆其实是对台南市民是免费开放参观的，他觉得这是一个家，那这个家呢就是随时欢迎你进来。创办人呢，他也非常希望说能够借由把国外西方的作品引到台湾来。可以让大家不用出国就可以看到除了东方文化之外，西方其他的文明。With the support of Chime Museum Foundation, Chime Museum has been devoted to exhibitions and educational promotion. They put great efforts to cultivate art talent and inspired many young artists. Located in Tainan, Chime Museum is the dream come true for Mr. Xu Wenlong. With his 80 years efforts to build this gorgeous museum, and this European-style architecture preserves not the history and relics in Tainan or Taiwan, but the Western culture and arts, and that is for sharing the joy, according to Mr. Xu Wenlong. He wants that this museum can bring us memories that we can treasure without going abroad. Where I'm standing right now is the National Museum of Taiwan History. Are you interested in history? Here's the place for you. Follow me and I can show you around. National Museum of Taiwan History in Tainan is a museum that belongs to every Taiwanese. Based on the axis of historical time, visitors are able to know the history of the indigenous people in Taiwan. The foreign invasions, settlements of Han people, and the arrival of warships, these conflicts constitute the contemporary history of Taiwan. After entering the museum, visitors are able to board on time machine. Let us get to know Taiwan history. Let me introduce you the director of National Museum of Taiwan History, Director Wan. Nice to meet you. 你好，啊，各位观众，大家好。Director Wan, uh, may I ask you, could you give us a brief introduction about the National Museum of Taiwan History? Taiwan History Museum, we can see many different levels of building. First, you come to our compound, you will find that this compound is very suitable for the whole family and recreation. In the compound, you will find four main elements. Kunshen, Duhai, Minqiang, Ronghe. 这四个元素综合成为台湾历史博物馆的建筑物主要的余晖。你会发现这个博物馆它是一个大跨剧的空间，它其实没有像一间一间的主题隔开，因为我们相信历史的长河，它一直都是源源不断的向前推进的。因此，这个建筑它就用大跨剧的空间，不把台湾的历史隔断开。你会发现在这样的展示空间里面。我们大幅度地运用了非常有层次的、多元、活泼的展示手法。每一个不同的背景的人来到这个地方，都会觉得被感动，甚至进一步理解历史。我想，这个就是我们台湾历史博物馆可以贡献给这个社会，希望大家更多的思辨历史，认同台湾。It looks like the miniature of Taiwan, and the whole street was moving to this building. Museum of Taiwan History takes the birth of knowledge 
friendliness and equality as the most important service principles. They provide guided tours in different languages. Barrier-free and friendly service are also available. There are designed TED Hall and the historical theaters of Time Station planned for children, and a learning center for various needs. Wow, this place just looks like the classroom when I was in elementary school. Look at the desk, chair, and even the blackboard. What a memory. National Museum of Taiwan History preserves many relics from different era. And they also have many different kind of exhibitions and activities for parents and kids to do together. So don't let the history be the words in our history book, but the things that you can see, you can touch, and you can experience in our daily life. Located on Gongyuan Road, this pipe-shaped building was nicknamed by the people in Tainan as Pepper Pipe, and the description really comes from its shape. This pillar building is the former Tainan Meteorological Station, now the Meteorological Exhibition. It is one of the three Pepper Pipe buildings in Taiwan. Only the historical building of Tainan Meteorological Station has been preserved now. Come with us and visit in this interesting place and to discover the story behind. This is Chief Chen Jiaqi. Well, and I'm very curious about this building. Uh, I want to know its uh, maybe its function or its uh, uh, history. Could you tell me more about it? Katie, we will look at it. Okay. This is the original Taiwan 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 所以到現在已經將近120年了。這個地方呢,它是早期的鳩嶺台地,它本身的地勢就比較高,加上這棟建築物呢,它有12米的高度,在早期民眾遠遠的地方就可以看到白色的建築物,因為白色的風力塔,